Let me show you how to design this flyer in Photoshop. Start by creating a new file, size 14.8 by 21 centimeters. Set the resolution to 300. Now go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. Let's choose this blue color and then press OK. Again, go to Adjustment Layer and choose Gradient. Choose this black and white gradient. Make sure the black is on the left side. Follow these settings. When you finish, press OK. Change the blending mode to overlay. Now let's drag our first image to Photoshop. You can download the images from the link in the description below. Change the blending mode to color burn. Now create a new layer. Let's choose a light blue color. I will choose this blue color. Choose the brush tool. Choose the soft round brush. Set the opacity to 100 and reduce the flow. Follow this process. You can get Photoshop from the link in the description below. Let's reduce the flow. Now choose the type tool and let's write our text. Set the foreground color to white. I'm using Montserrat black font. I will show you the font details in a while. This is the font that I'm using. Follow these settings. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Choose the type tool and let's write a different letter. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Choose the type tool and let's write a different letter. Hold Shift and select all of these layers. Let's group them. Rename the group as you like. Right click and let's change the color of this group. Let's reduce the opacity of this layer to 90%. Let's also reduce it for this layer too. Now choose this layer. Go to Layer Style and choose Drop Shadow. Follow these settings to make this type of shadow. You can support my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Right click here and choose Copy Layer Style. Right click on this layer and choose Paste Layer Style. Adjust the letters positions like what I am doing here. Now choose the group and then go to Select and choose All. Let's center it vertically. Again, go to Select and choose Deselect. Now choose the Type tool and let's write our text. Press Ctrl T. Let's scale it down while holding the Shift button. Follow this process. Go to Select and choose All. Let's center it vertically. Again, go to Select and choose Deselect. Now we will add a rectangle under this text. Choose the Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle like this. Let's remove the stroke color. And let's add a red color to this rectangle. Follow these steps. Drag this layer under this text. Hold Shift and select both of these layers. Let's center them like this. Let's group these layers. Rename the group as you like. Right click and let's change the color of this group. 
Now choose the type tool and let's write our text. Let's change its color to this yellow color. Follow this process. We will do the same thing as we did before, but this time we won't reduce the opacity of each letter. I will speed these steps, but if you have any questions, please write them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You can get Photoshop from the link in the description below. You can support my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Let's adjust this gradient color. Follow these steps. Now choose this layer. Let's drag another image to Photoshop. You can download the images from the link in the description below. Change the blending mode to screen. Add a layer mask. Now choose the brush tool. Choose the soft round brush. Set the opacity to 100% and reduce the flow. Set the foreground color to black. Let's start hiding parts of this image. Follow these steps. Let's drag another image to Photoshop. You can download the images from the link in the description below. Drag this image outside this group. Let's drag another image to Photoshop. Change the blending mode to soft light. Add a layer mask. Choose the brush tool. Follow this process. You can get Photoshop from the link in the description below. Let's change the blending mode to screen. This looks better. Let's choose the brush tool and let's adjust the mask accordingly. Reduce the flow. Go to adjustment layer and choose brightness contrast. Follow these steps. Choose the Type tool and let's write another text. Follow this process. This is the font that I'm using. I will speed this part. If you have any questions, write them below and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Keep on watching. We will add the last part after we finish the text. Let's drag another image to Photoshop. Follow this process. Let's add the same drop shadow as we did before. Right click here and choose paste layer style. Set the opacity to 100%. Hold alt and drag down to make a copy. 
Go to Edit, Transform. Choose Flip Horizontal. Press Ctrl T. Go to Filter. Blur. Choose Gaussian Blur. Follow these settings. When you finish, press OK. That's it. Hope you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also watch other tutorials in my channel.